Recently on one of my Sunday morning view cues, a viewer asked me what items I got rid of when I was downsizing that I then had to purchase again. And that made me think of what a USB queen I am. On the road, I need devices that are small, can be charged easily, and I don't need to plug into the wall or turn on my generator or use my inverter because it sucks so much power and not all of my outlets work on the inverter. So there are some items that I have purchased that are USB rechargeable items, no cords. They stay charged, they charge easily. And today I'm gonna to walk you through my favorite ones. I hope you can hear me okay today. It is raining, but I'm here inside of my clam, which I'm going to tell you guys more about later, but I have this cool outdoor workspace, and um, it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant, and I've been getting spring rains like every day, and it doesn't come in here, so um, hopefully this will be gone soon. I hope that it's not affecting the audio too much on this video, but I have all of my USB powered devices over here. They are rechargeable, every single one. And what I figured out as I went along on the road is that for the items that I used regularly, I didn't want to be plugging them into a wall or have to have a hookup or have to have my inverter on or my generator going. So most of these items were items that I had in another form before and I purchased them as USB devices. And like I said to that viewer, if I had to do it again, I would have gotten USB items right out of the gate before I started my nomadic life. Um, because the other ones are heavier, they take up too much space, and I don't like the way that they use power. So let me tell you in no particular order, my top USB items that I use on the road in my RV, and if you go to the link at the top of comments below, that will take you to my Amazon page where I'm going to have a category called USB Queen, so you guys can find all this stuff and anything else that I use that's USB that I have forgotten to bring out here, because I have a lot of it and I love it. Okay, first of all, I saw somebody at the RTR with this device about two years ago. This is a rechargeable neck light. Now, you see it curves, right? So you can curve it around a bar or have it hanging down from the ceiling like that. Um, you could hook it onto almost anything. But see right here, that is a USB chargeable port. So you just charge it up. I swear to you, I've charged this twice ever. It just stays charged. And the lights go in three different settings. Can you guys see that? <laughs> so at night, I tend to go outside when it's really dark and it's just me here in the middle of nowhere. And I like to look up at the stars, but you know, stepping down the steps, I have this by the door and I put it on and um, it helps me outside. I also use it if I have to find something deep in a bin or I have to look inside my engine. It doesn't look like it here in this bright light, but this actually gives you a really nice kind of a spotlight that you can use. When I'm stealth camping, I also put this around my neck to do reading so I don't have a lot of light coming out of my RV. I don't remember exactly, but I think this was around $17. Like a lot of you out there, I have a rechargeable Bluetooth wireless headset. So I can listen to music on this. Um, I can actually talk to people because it's got a microphone. This I did not get at Amazon. I got this at um, Walmart or Target, something like this. You can find these anywhere. Um, I'll put a link to the same one in case you like it um, on Amazon, but you can see here it's rechargeable. And just like the other one, this one lasts forever. And, you know, you just put it in your ears. There's no wires to your phone. So if you want to hear the news or you want to hear music or whatever or talk to somebody, this is a great device. Now, what do you guys think this is? Any guesses? You're never going to believe it. This is an air pump. Now, you guys know that Doug and I were going to try and do an inflatable kayak. That was a total fail. So I never did a video on that because we went out into the water and, like, literally started sinking. And, um... That was a fail that was returned. Um, but this was a USB rechargeable pump 
that I got to fill it up, it was like $12. And here's the reason I did not return it. They have these little attachments here, but look. I actually was first using this to blow the dirt out of the corners in my RV so that I could get stuff out from under my slide and from behind chairs, you know, where your broom wouldn't go, your mop wouldn't go, um, instead of getting down there with a toothbrush, because, uh, you know, RV life can be dirty. Dust comes in your windows and you want to get that stuff out. This actually worked great. <laughs> Now, I'm super glad I kept it because, duck it at me, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys the lounge chair that I got inside my clam. So inside my clam, which <laughs> I am going to jam out with my clam out and show you guys a whole video on that, but that's what this tent is called, a quick set clam. Uh, I have a desk and a chair, and then I have this lounger. Now, I searched forever because I had one of those, you know, things that you run through the air and, and, and you fill up like a couch that's like a big banana split and you lay in it and it's impossible to fill up or keep filled. I had one of those. That is not what I wanted anymore. So I searched and searched and searched and found a pool lounger that's meant for a pool deck that is the perfect lounge. But you don't have to run around to fill it up in the air. I use this thing. So this was between $12 and $15, I think. And um, not only does it help as a cleaning device, but it will also pump up any portable inflatable devices you have, like my lounge chair that I love you guys. I just lay in here and read a book or just look out at the trees. Love it. Show you more of that uh, when I tell you about my setup here. I have had so many of you ask me how I stay cool in the hot months. This is a little $10 USB rechargeable fan. Again, I got this at Walmart, um, but they are really hard to find, you guys. Um, after I got my first one, and look, they're cheap. I'm gonna be honest with you, they're from China, um, but they last about, in my experience, four or five months, um, and then they just don't work as well, and so every time I go into Walmart, I go to see if they have another one, and they usually don't. Um, but I'll put the link for this or some comparable items below, um, it's worth it. They're $10. And here's what I did. I put Velcro on the bottom and then there's Velcro by my bed. And so this sits up by my bed and keeps me cool and it tilts any angle all night. So look. Ooh. Oh, right. Again, $10 completely rechargeable USB. There's the port. I find that little directional fans like this keep you a lot cooler than just running the overhead fan at the top of your RV or your van. The next item that I gave up on the regular for and went to the USB is a razor. Now, you can shave your legs with this, which is what I do. Men, you can use this on your faces. Um, I charged this once or twice since I've had it. I've had it for months. Look at this. It's still got a full charge. I can't even bend over in my RV shower to shave my legs, and I don't want to use the water for that, and I really don't want the hair going down into my gray tank, because it'll probably just stick in the corners and never leave. It has a little razor for the side there, so you know, you know, do some of this, because I got the short hair. I think this was $25, um, and it's great. It stays charged forever, and it really does shave your legs. And by the way, uh, ladies, this is not a woman's razor. I got this in the man's department, because the women's razors are wimpy burger. Oh, and hey, some of you asked me about my photo equipment. I have a little light here that um, helps me with the lighting a little bit. I use this when I do interviews in people's rigs. See that? This was $10 and it is USB rechargeable and stays charged forever. Mm, right? Okay, I keep this on my tripod to give a little bit of extra light. This is another one of my favorite things. This is a little light and bug zapper. And I'm here inside of my clam. And the other day I left the door open and it rained and I got a bunch of little flies in here. And um, look at this. It attracts the bugs and it zaps them without making a big noise like my last huge one did. And um, oh look, it got a big old fly in there. Um, and then you literally pull this apart and just knock out the bugs or you can rinse it in water and clean it. And then down here, there's a light that goes from all these different settings. So what I do 
is I hang it right up here in my clam. And, uh, you know, then when I'm in here at night chilling out, lounging or whatever, I have a little light up here and a bug zapper. I think it was 12 bucks. I have one for inside and one for outside. Now, I'm going to tell you my most recent purchase, which was actually my priciest USB replacement purchase. This is good for me because I cook. And after I was on the road for a while, I really figured out the things that were irritating to me that I had to keep turning on the generator to plug in. And for me... That was a hand blender. Now my old plug-in hand blender has gone to Goodwill. And in its place, I got this little case, which is a Cuisinart rechargeable hand blender. And it doesn't just have the hand blender, it also has a food processor and a whip. And so I had food processors and blenders and all this stuff that was heavy and it took up room. And I now have it all in this little case. So here's the base unit. It is rechargeable, right? And then you put your attachment on it, whatever that is. There's a bench in here. You have to press a safety button. And it's not on very high. Hear that? Oh! I grind my nuts with this and coffee and I make soup and I make mashed potatoes because I'm plant-based so I make a lot of that stuff. Something I didn't expect to love inside of this because I just wanted the immersion blender, the hand blender, was this little chopper that comes with it. So you take the same rechargeable base and you put it in like this and I mean this thing will make I mean, chopped onions, herbs, all that stuff, but it will also make guacamole, salsa, um, sauces. I make lots of sauces to go over my taters. Look at that. No power cords. No inverter. No hookup. No generator. Now, this was a pricier item. It was $120, I think. It also came with some other items like um, a knife, a bread knife which, you know, you can see I've never actually used. Someday I'm going to make bread. Someday I'm gonna get in on that. I'm gonna try and make it in my solar oven, but um, I haven't done that yet. For me, I've used the whisk and the immersion blender and the chopper, and to me, it was worth the money because um, I use it all the time. For you, it might be something else, but you can go into Amazon and search USB powered whatever, USB rechargeable whatever, or USB camping and I'm the stuff that comes up you guys will be amazed now you might ask yourself what do you plug it into to charge everything well like I said I had my old yellow box that you guys may have seen um, I used for everything it was a lithium battery and um, Doug used his CPAP on it and I charged a bunch of stuff on it I still do have that um, but part of it broke because I dropped it so I actually got a replacement that I like better than that yellow box um, this is called Rock Pals. I think, again, I think this was $200, but most of the lithium batteries around the size are $500, so this was a good purchase. You can charge it while your inverter's on, or you can charge it on solar, or you can charge it when you're going down the road. During the day, I have my solar going, and when my solar's like at 100% and really cooking in the middle of the day, I turn my inverter on, I charge my two boxes, and then this thing will charge a 110. So, like, my camera doesn't have a USB charger, but I can charge it on here. Or um, I have another fan that'll charge on here. And it's got these super fast USB outlets right here. Two of them are super, super fast. And so it'll charge your phone or your tablet, whatever, really fast. And then it also has a 12 volt um, outlet, which I did not have at all before. So with this, I can charge everything. And another thing that I do to make sure I have USB charging power, is I've got a few of these boxes hanging around. This probably takes half an hour to charge this box. And then, this one only has one outlet. It's got one USB port, but this one little box, when it's charged, will charge my phone three times, a couple of tablets before it runs out. I also use these to run the lights in my garden. I also have a USB powered light that goes over my garden, and that was about $20. These boxes range in price from $10, like at the gas station, to $50. And um, frankly, the ones with the multiple ports 
um, that are bigger and more expensive don't work any better than these little guys which are less expensive to me in my experience but then you know if it's nighttime you don't want to run your generator your batteries aren't full enough or it's been rainy like it is today um, then I have these little backup chargers and finally if you guys saw the video I did last year called the ABC's of power which is always be charging you know that I use this little guy when I'm driving always this is up in my cab um, this is the best tech little inverter and I think it was about 20 bucks but you know I bought this two years ago and I have used it every time I've gotten in the car almost without fail if I remember to do it it's right up there you plug it into your cigarette lighter right and then I can charge my USB devices while I'm going down the road or like my toothbrush. You know, I had a lady comment on Facebook. Um, it's so funny that I use all these devices. Why don't I just use a regular toothbrush? Well, I don't know, because my dentist told me to use a rechargeable toothbrush. And so I do because I'm not on vacation here. It's not like I can just bring the non electric toothbrush with me on my vacation because this is my house. So everything that I have here is stuff that I use to keep me comfortable in my house that is power efficient and small and lightweight. So I wasn't kidding, right? I am a USB queen. If I could get an item that was rechargeable with no cord, lightweight, that I could charge when the sun was out, worked great for me. Listen, search for USB rechargeable items that you use in your van or RV, or if you're going out on the road and you're trying to decide what to take with you, if you've got an item that you plug in but you get it as a USB item, I recommend it because cords and power drainage will drive you crazy on the road. If you guys have any USB powered items that you like that I didn't mention or aren't on the list that you can find in the link at the top of comments below, please do put them down for everybody and um, I'll check it out. And if you recommend it, I'll also add it to the list on Amazon so everybody can share what devices they love on the road that are USB powered. If you found this video helpful, please do share it and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Of course, check out my blog at creativityrv.com, Instagram, and Facebook. I wish you all happy travels out there and be free.